FNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the 3 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. The Dow is at any point in the hour, we could have given you a, a, a minus 100 or 200 or a plus 100 or 200. We're back to a plus 200. We're up to 27. This is really important. We're going to find out early next week whether or not this was end of the month fund buying uh, going into Friday close and Monday. Or over the weekend, there's some extraordinary event that changes everything. But I'd like to do this just purely on a technical basis when I come back for the Tom O'Brien show where I'm the guest host. So here we go. The Dow up 222 at 34,381. It has strong resistance at the the 200 and the 9 period exponential moving averages of 34,526, 34,616 between now and even overnight Sunday, when whatever we're looking at the futures, 34,000 is still the, the number to hold on a closing basis. The S&P at this particular point, also coming back, very actually was strong. A, a majority of the day, even though there was some really big bouts of weakness, it's up 50 at 43.76. It's also got a long way to go. It's got to go to 43.99 to cross the 200 period moving average. Then 44.29 will be the next resistance. Key support today is the low was 42.92. We only have to look at that. 40, 43.45. A break under that anytime between now and Sunday night will be a negative. What we are looking at is the QQQs, and this is going to be really important. QQQs just cannot get any strength to the upside. Yep, they're up 5.54, 346.58. They need to be testing the nine period moving average in the daily chart of 353.73, and they need to do it really soon. In fact, they need to go higher than that. Must hold 340 support. IWM also very weak. Uh, it's still weak, down 48 cents, down 50 cents at 191, made a new low today. This is a big move down. It's almost, if you look at the weekly chart, look at that A to B equals C to D. That's the lightning bolt uh, we're talking about here at TFNN. But most importantly, it is fading the small caps. Looking at gold, does gold come back? Didn't look at gold for a little while. Down seven at 17.88. Uh, the dollar has been really strong as it held that strength. Yep. It's holding that strength. It's at a new recovery high. It's at 97.28. The high today was 97.44. 97, I think 83 is the target that we're looking at. And we're looking at the TLT. That's bonds. TLT, oh, finally now it's up 22 cents. And crude oil, we do this before we do the Tom O'Brien show, is showing a little weakness. It's up 32. It was much higher earlier today. I'll be back in a moment for the Tom